in the previous class uh, we have seen uh, uh, how a key distribution could be happen so not exactly the protocol but uh, what are the different different kinds of schemes which are being followed to distribute a key between two trusted parties so what is uh, uh, what you call one moment yeah so uh, what are what are the different schemes which are being followed have been uh, uh, looking by us in the previous uh, class today one of those such kind of very familiar familiar kind of uh, so key distribution kind of algorithm the algorithm name is uh, kerberos the algorithm name is kerberos we will see this kerberos very simple question this question will be there in our uh, final examination also look at the look at this kerberos so kerberos is a so it is a, an authentication protocol which could be used to so authentication between uh, two parties so here only two persons will be there there is no problem kerberos is not required but uh, Alice wants to, one particular person is wants to communicate with thousands, thousands of people, then Kerberos is required. Okay. So that is what we have learned in terms of a key distribution, right? So here, several systems, including uh, Windows 2000 and uh, so Unix, uh, Unix uh, core, sorry, Linux core six also use this particular Kerberos. Okay. Kerberos has been introduced uh, to the world by so MIT, Massage Institute of Technology. So one of the one of the finest and the pioneer kind of university in the, on the earth for computer science. So these people have uh, created this particular Kerberos in the year 1994. Okay, in the year 1994. And here, as far as uh, the previous uh, discussion, so KDCs are uh, only one KDC will be there. If people will be gets increased, KDC levels will be gets increased. But uh, no other server other than KDC, whatever the uh, uh, systematic operations which could be done in KDC, international KDC, national KDC or local KDC, everything will be taken same kind of operation. There is no change at all. But in uh, Kerberos, we have uh, approximately three different types of servers. There are uh, three different types of servers which are involved in uh, so Kerberos protocol. That is the importance of this one. And here, first, uh, 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 server will be authentication server or which is also called as AS. AS is a so eligible word to write anywhere else. And second one is ticket generating server, otherwise a TGS, ticket generation server, otherwise a TGS. And third one is a data server, actual data server. This data server is used to, this is the responsible for performing all cryptographic operations. All cryptographic operations whatever it may be by taking uh, a message whatever it may be plain text will be taken and encryption will be gets operated uh, encryption on encryption it could be generated cipher text okay this is encryption operation followed by decryption in the sense the cipher text will be taken and after taking cipher text and decryption algorithm is going to be operated thereby message will be get back all these operations will be done by so this message uh, data server and before going to operate these operations, how a key will be transmitted? That key transmission will be taken care by these two. That is what you need to understand. Authentication server and a ticket generation server are responsible for generation of keys. Generation of keys. And before going to starting the communication between two parties, two trusted parties, how they could be. So that could be taken care by those two and all other operations will be took place by the data server okay and authentication server what are the roles and the responsibilities of authentication server is so authentication server of kdc is it is available with the kdc key distribution center one of the parts of a key distribution center in the kerberos protocol and uh, must uh, user must be first of all user must be registered with the authentication server after that uh, the procedure will be continued once you have registered with the authentication server authentication server will be generate so your id and password these two will be generated by authentication server 
after that uh, it could be maintained so authentication server must be maintained so a database for uh, so uh, identity and password if it if, if you have for a new user your identity will be for example so 10a112b something this is your id and password is 1a so backslash friend slash and b something like this star this is the password and this particular name this particular name and this particular password must be stored into a database as and when you have uh, you have enter into so this particular kdc immediately it could be checks throughout the database whether same kind of username and passwords are available with uh, that authentication server or not so to maintain such kind of issues the authentication server has been maintaining a specific database here okay authentication server is available with all banks not exactly a uh, singular one or two or banks with all all kinds of banks authentication server will be there then followed by after that uh, so after generating this one so once uh, you have uh, you have uh, identity and password so then immediately it will ask you to uh, click on to, to to enter into your uh, so and so as and when you have to enter into that one immediately so after enter your id and password immediately authentication server will be generates one session key for you this session key will be used to uh, use it to generate for the person let me say that is alice and uh, the tgs ticket generation generate generating ticket granting server okay the tgs and alice it has been generated and based on that uh, so it could be perform some kind of operation we will see the actual protocol of kerberos if we last two slides okay uh, wait for wait for until so then these are the roles and responsibilities of the authentication server authentication server is responsible for so registration is required by the user soon registration will be done authentication server will be generate an identity and password and these identity and passwords will be maintained through one database uh, once you have to register and re enter into that authentication server immediately it could be generates a session key for uh, uh, the user who is uh, enter into that particular system and the uh, tgs also ticket granting service also for this two so uh, session key will be generated by authentication so server these are the roles and responsibilities of authentication server then what exactly the ticket granting server here what exactly the ticket granting server could be done here ticket granting server will be always uh, issues a ticket for the data server this ticket is uh, it is uh, for database data server so this ticket is used as uh, the key for uh, so called uh, so called operation or so called communication between two trusted parties it is also provide session key between alice and bob alice is one party and bob is another party two different people are trying to communicate each other so for this two so session key will be a in the sense alice and b in the sense bob here so a session key will be generated kerberos has a spread user verification on issuing this particular uh, so session key here okay then uh, uh, after the verification of id of uh, the sender so as will be then contact with the tcs or ticket granting server and um, for multiple so as will be uh, user will be communicate with as for exactly once only one time we have to communicate with as but for tcs many number of times so we, we people have uh, to communicate to so communicate with the different 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 data servers because i am supposed to communicate with my so six or seven people as like as you you are you people have uh, stay somewhere else geographically so that as and when you have to so connect with me immediately one ticket will be gets passed from authentication server to tgs and tgs to actual data server okay so this is the these are the roles and responsibilities of uh, tgs then followed by a real data server actually data server of course i have added one more word that is real that's all so the data server what is the importance of the data server is data server provides uh, all services already have given what are the services it could be provided those services will be provided by so actual data server uh, by the sender here and uh, kerberos is designed to client server program kerberos has been designed uh, 
uh, with the client server program this client program is continuously run at the server process i mean data server okay once a data server will be initiates your client program then you may be able to communicate with the recipient up, up to then so you are not supposed to do anything okay then kerberos is not used for person 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 to person authentication okay when for one person to one person authentication cannot be take place here client program to client program it has been took place and it has been uh, so evaluated okay then actual protocol this is very important remaining uh, uh, whatever the discussion so far their roles and responsibilities of so and so uh, servers this is the actual protocol what exactly the people will be done here uh, the client alice alice wants to communicate with any person uh, and she is trying to run one client program at, at a real data server with six different types of steps here what are the steps number one alice sends a request to uh, authentication server okay as and when authentication server has been to identify her uh, registered identity then what exactly she the authentication server will be done authentication server will be immediately send an encrypted message uh, which is called as a symmetric key between uh, alice as authentication key then immediately this message contains two parts a as will be contains two parts part number 1 is uh, so the session key between alice and the pgs that is uh, so alice pgs followed by which is used to communicate with uh, the pgs uh, ticket granting server and second thing is uh, uh, as pgs as pgs in the sense she uh, the, the pgs will be communicate with the data server for uh, providing service between alice and uh, so the recipient here these are the two operations which could be done and then alice now sends uh, three three items to tgs what are those items here in the sense so whatever the uh, ticket which have been received by alice from as it will be sent to tgs first then followed by name of the uh, data server whatever the name she wants to communicate with so the data server and followed by so the encrypted uh, encrypted uh, uh, key when it was generated by as authenticated server will be generated one particular key that key when it was generated so the time stamp will be so sent to the uh, so pgs if a time stamp will be there obviously so uh, many number of uh, uh, hackers could not be uh, get the so specification of that particular uh, so what is the pgs here so these are the three parts which could be done when uh, communicates with uh, pgs here alice will communicate with the pgs here now now tgs sends two tickets uh, each containing session key of alice and bob the two parties and encrypted bob key that is k tgs of bob okay these two will be sent by tgs after communication will be gets happened by by alice here then followed by alice sends a request to the i mean uh, bob's tickets to the so uh, uh, tgs tks sorry tgs and then uh, time stamp and uh, encrypted tgs will be sent to so bob and bob will be accepted so uh, bob will be confirms or accepted that one so that the communication will be get start started okay these are the three six different types of operations let us see how this could be the protocol will be alice and uh, as server and the tgs server the whole thing will be called as kdc and then uh, data server actual data server so first uh, what actually alice will be do alice will be send a requisition to tgs stating that uh, so i need to have some kind of ticket to communicate with the so so and so person the tgs will be uh, create one session key tgs will create one particular session key and that session key will be forwarded to alice okay immediately it could be done then immediately what exactly alice could be do request for a ticket for data server request for ticket for data server here and the data server a ticket also be generated and it could be sent back to alice and immediately data server in the sense the bob will be con uh, uh, connected to this particular data server that is uh, the recipient will be uh, co connected to this particular server so alice will be send a requisition for accessing for access uh, our communication will be get starts with the bob 
So if the request is uh, exactly same, then the granting will be done. These are the six different types of operations which could be which could be done between the sender and recipient while while the communication will be before going to start the communication here. Okay. So simply speaking, Kerberos is used to transmit the uh, symmetric key between Alice and Bob or Alice and many number of people. Alice will be there. So first person, second person, third person, fourth person, and so on up to so n number of persons. All these all these n number of people will be communicate with Alice. So it must be initiated by Alice only, the sender only. So that is why these six, six operations will be continuously happen between all these people. Then only Alice will able to communicate with the n number of people here. Otherwise, it is not possible. In this way, so Kerberos has been implemented. So this is what the today's class. That's all. Okay, this is for the today's class and let us continue by tomorrow.